The variability on what our yields were were interesting because it showed us that we were losing money in some areas and, and making a lot of money in other areas. So for us it was around changing that to where we could actually drive profitability in every zone. I think every farm would have areas that are costing them money. It's very easy just to apply blanket rates to everything because that's what you think you need. I saw a lot of precision ag around the world which really was the catalyst for me to get started. There's a whole range of things that we use. There's um, uh, variable rate technology that's um, for application of, with a sprayer, variable rate fertiliser, grid soil sampling, zonal soil sampling, and, and you need all of that stuff to be able to build our variable rate maps. Electromagnetic soil mapping, which is the basis for a lot of what we do as well. And to get value out of things like variable rate irrigation, absolutely have to have EM mapping. And then I guess we've developed um, Smart N where we are able to put nitrogen in between your own patches. It's been very cost effective. We've seen reductions of 30% sometimes in base fertiliser and, and on the dairy farm, in fact, it was 40%. Sometimes it's not a lot of investment. Sometimes you don't spend any less on fertiliser. You may just redistribute it and put it in exactly the right place. But really, this is about putting the right product in the right place um, for the best financial and best um, productive outcome. There's a lot of farmers now that are uh, looking very closely at this. A lot of grid soil sampling, a lot of EM mapping, variable rate irrigation starting to happen. So it's a matter of working with the early adopters to make it mainstream, I guess. Each one of them that stepped into it has all stepped up to something more. Um, there's none of them that have gone, well, I'm done, it doesn't work. It's very rewarding, it's profitable, it's, um, I guess we're interested in technology, but bottom line is we're going to need lots of things to be better with the environment and we are part of the solution I guess.